so today we are going to talk about the query parameter feature in power bi okay this is also an important question for interview so let us try to understand this with the help of an example uh, i have got this data set which has got the columns like date region product category and the amount let's just say that i have created a basic, very basic visual uh, using this data and this as we can see we we have as we can see we have sum of amount on the y axis and the category filter on the x axis now let's just say that i have created this visual but my reporting manager comes to my desk and tells me that see i don't want to analyze the data based on the category rather i want to analyze the data based on the region so what i will do i have two options i will remove the category and add the region and then the data would get filtered for the region this is one option and the second option is that i will have to create entirely new visual for the region so in whichever way i can do that but after i do this let's say again my reporting manager comes to my desk and tells me that see i don't want to analyze the data based on the region rather i want to analyze the data based on the category then what i will do i will again remove the region and add the category option now this is how we generally do this okay but with the help of query parameter functionality we'll be able to do this in a very easy way okay with, but if we use the query parameter then we will not have to put in so much of effort just for filtering for multiple dimensions how does query parameter make our life easy i'll tell you this so in this particular visual as we can see i have used the query parameter functionality now as we can see currently this data is filtered based on the region okay now i want to let's say filter this data based on the products what i'll do i'll just click on this product button and the data would get filtered for product similarly we can filter it for region so that's how query parameter basically helps us to have the multiple filters on the single visual and save our time now i will show you how exactly we do this okay and now the next thing that we will do is we'll create a very basic visual having the column chart so what i'll do on y axis i will have the amount and on the x axis i will let's say have the product but now let's say i want to filter this data for the other dimensions as well so i rather than doing it manually what i will do i will use the query parameters functionality so where do you find it click on the modeling ribbon go to new parameter click on fields let's say this new parameter we call this as sales parameter and within this parameter let's say i want to add category uh, product and the region okay so these three functionalities i want to as a filter now before i click on the create button just see this checkbox add slicer to this page so the moment i click on this create button i will get a new slicer which will have these three options using which i can filter the data so i'll click on the create button as we can see we have got the three filters to filter the data now if i try to filter the data based on this visual i am not able to filter it okay why exactly is this happening because there is no connection between these two visuals so what i will do i'll create a connection how do i create a connection i'll click on this visual go to this i'll click on this visual and remove the existing product column and rather we will add this new newly created sales parameter so i'll just click on the sales parameter as we can see the moment we added this and if we try to filter it now we are able to filter it for the different category very easily okay so that's how using query parameters you will be able to filter multiple dimensions for a single visual and, and, and you would not have to make the changes in your report every single time okay so i hope this will help you thank you so much for watching